Welcome to the Chief's Way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50! Today in the video, I'm going to show you the tremendous amount of uh, power I'm getting out of these Harbor Freight solar panels. Just tremendous amounts of power now that I've got uh, a nice new big uh, Renergy 100 amp charge controller. So if you like this kind of content, please uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. It'll help, uh, help the channel out in the algorithm. So. I just wanted to show you out here, I have six panels out, total 600 watts. We have three in series here, so this 3S, three in series here, which is 3S, and the two of them in parallel. So we've got a 3S, 2P configuration. Now, let's take a look at the, the Renogy app for the charge controller and see what kind of humongous power we're making. All right, now we're in the uh, the Renogy app, and we can take a look at the uh, historical values that you know we've been charging at for you know the last few weeks. You see, right now we're making like uh, 546 watts or so. Okay, but if we click on this controller, this is the RVR100. That's the 100 amp charge controller. Okay, and we go up here to the the three little dots we can get history go to history okay we'll let it load okay it's loaded so we go down here to max charge power where it says 702 okay okay here it is you see all zeros in the in the first part of the month because i didn't install this till like august 12th so we see on August 12th, we get 501 watts. But where we want to go is all the way to yesterday. 702 watts. That's out of six 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panels. So if we take 702 and divide it by six, that gives us an average of one hundred and seventeen watts per panel okay one hundred and seventeen watts per panel that it was making on that day and the day before you see it made uh, 682 watts that's an average of uh, 114 watts per panel if you go back a little bit on the 17th it made 665 watts. That's an average of 111. Okay. On the 15th, it made 628 watts. That's an average of 105. And on the 19th, it made 623 watts, which is an average of 104 watts. So you see, it's not just an aberration that happened one time. It happens all the time with these panels. So I don't care what anybody says, Renogy, not Renogy. Harbor Freight has the best panels, the best. Now, when, I, uh, when I've done uh, videos on the Harbor Freight panels before, uh, I would get uh, viewers in there saying, well, you can get cheaper ones from Amazon. You can get them for $80 on Amazon, okay? I said, well, you know, go ahead and get spend your $80 on Amazon, and I hope you enjoy the maximum of 80 watts you're going to get out of those panels because most of them seem like they're junk, okay? You want a good panel, you go to Harbor Freight. But don't go pay full price. They're... Full price is $124.99. They're on sale on a regular basis. Some sales are better than others. So if you can wait a little bit, you wait and get them for $99. And sometimes they even go on sale as low as $89.99. So, I mean, that's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to buy any other panels unless I need some panels that are like 300 watts or something. Then I'll find, uh, you know, a good one uh, for that. But as far as 100-watt panels, you can't beat these uh, Harbor Freights. 
So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And there'll be a, a link to the Harbor Freight in the, uh, in the description where you can go in and check out the panels. But you, they always got the panels at, uh, at the store locally, so you don't have to order them online if you don't want. So if you, like, if you like this content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. And solar on.